Hello everyone and welcome to our course lecture number 11 how to schedule three independent projects together this lecture is very important and if only you have multiple projects and you would like to manage them together how you can create this project how you can tie them together is very easy way and continue and let's go to the live software to enjoy this class so here is our database and you can see right now all the uh, project I will go here on the left side I will make add a new project I will keep the APS as it is I will make it by the way road number one okay and project name I will keep it road number one next I will keep the plan to start it as it is we should not touch the must finish by must finish by please don't touch it because it affected the critical path and we're gonna have a separate lectures about must finish uh, by I will keep the responsible manager as it is and then I will keep also all the others I will make finish so now I have road number one to open any project just right click and open the project and now we need to create the activities how to create the activities this plus sign on the right side here you make add okay finish and I will make it by the way excavations And I can copy and paste uh, this activity uh, rather than creating a new one I will make another uh, copy and paste and copy and paste okay I will make activity number two subgrade sub grade I will make that this one here base course base course I will make this one here asphalt or asphalt A S P H P L T. Okay. So now we have created the activities, and again you can go and make uh, the plus sign to add the activity, or you can copy and paste what you what you have. I will add the durations. By the way, original duration I will add twenty days for this one. Fifteen days. Just an example. 20 and 25 I need excavations first and then I will need the subgrade after so I can go and highlight these two activities and right click and I will make link so this way I'm, I'm linking the activities uh, in sequence subgrade first and then this course highlight this activity and this activity and right click and link activity base course and asphalt right click and link activities and make them by the start like that and after that make f9 so that the program can give you the scale so to tie an activity is easy to go and highlight and link or you can go down here and you choose the successor and the predecessor you have here the successor and you can if you are missed any of this just right click customize and you can add whatever is missing here you have the predecessor you have the successor you have the resource okay so now in easy way you have created one project it's called road one okay I will go back again to the database I will copy this project and I will paste. I will call it road number two. Okay. Road number two. And again, I will make right click and paste. I will make OK. OK. Everything is OK. I will explain this in the separate lectures so i will make here road number three and road number three so 
So now I have my three projects that I have created. Them, they are independent. There is no ties between them. I would like right now to tie this project together. How can I do that? I will highlight this three project, and I'm always using the right click to open the project. So now you can see if you make collapse all, you're gonna see the three project here. Road number one, road number two, and road number three. Okay, there's no ties right now between the three project. How can I tie that? I can, by the way, easy way, choose excavation on the first project to be tied to the second project, to be tied to the third project, and I will make right, right click and link. I will make after that F9. After you you do any of that, you have to make F9 so that you can, you can see uh, uh, the relationship. Okay. If you don't see this links, the one this arrow here, you go. You can see here it's called the relationship line. I can hide. I can add them. Okay. So we have now tied the excavation of project number one to the excavation of project number two to the excavation of project number three. Okay. Let me tie the subgrade of project number one to the subgrade of project number two. To the subgrid of project number three I will make right click and and then I will make link you can see right now here that the subgrid is being linked okay and you can continue if you have a big project you can go and continue tying the three projects together and after you did any of the orders in p6 p6 does not understand anything until you make f9 which is scheduling calculate the project so now an easy way you can create a three separate project or if you have different locations and you have this project you can open them together and you can tie them if you have important resources for each one of that or scaffolding you can go and tie this together in easy way so i hope this lecture is easy for you guys and if you are managing multiple projects share with us your opinion uh, how to tie them, how to manage them together. If you have any questions, let me know and I will help you and adding more lecture to the course or sending you any stuff that you are missing. Thanks so much for watching and this is Alan Hinda, we uh, Project Control Director of California High Speed Rail. Seeing you in the next lectures and feel free to ask. Have a great day.